Ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three minute rounds in the super lightweight division. This bout is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, the timekeeper at the bell, Brett Bowles, and the third man in charge of the action in the ring, referee Sean McAvoy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the black with silver trim. His official weight of 144 pounds and six ounces. He has a record of 65 fights, eight wins, and three of those wins come in by way of knockout. Hailing from Southampton, United Kingdom, Rustam Fatu and his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner he is wearing the white with black trim his official weight of 142 pounds and eight ounces he has a record of six wins and one win by way of knockout hailing from tadworth sorry united kingdom mr excitement nathan Meiser. Nathan Meisen, Mr. Excitement. Showtime. Been looking forward to this one, actually. It's nice to be here with you, Melissa. I've heard you do this many times. Danny, it is a pleasure to have you. Glad you remember my name. No one else does. They just say I know. I've noticed that, actually. But it's because your branding is so good. Right? I respect that. Thank you very much. No problem. They do say I'm charming. You are. <laughs> you won me over. <laughs> Mr. Excitement from the Boxing Booth Gym. He's got Adam Martin and Nick Gilfoy in his corner, two great men. Good boy behind the jab. Yeah, nice work cutting off the ring as well. You see the booth fighters, I know he's not trained by Adam, but the guys out of that gym know that lovely top half movement. They do. And then, and then they're not, there's my friend Dale D jab there, yep. Yeah. Great work, great work. Yeah, as I was saying, they have that lovely top half movement. Very good at finding the range. You know, Nathan's quite young, he's only 22 years old. Okay. I'm always quite impressed when the younger pro boxers and how their development is. Yeah. Considering you can fight until you're almost 40, I mean, they're, they're, he's a baby in the game. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, he's 6-0, and oh, so um, with one KO on his record, so this is his seventh professional fight. He's getting a little bit eager, I don't want to, to crush the distance. Lovely, he's softening up and, and following up with a really crisp combination. Typical work of the box of both gym. Might seem a little bit sharp behind the jab. You don't want to wait too long there, he needs to put the work behind it. Yeah. Follow through with some combinations. He's got him there, on the ropes, practically in the corner. <laughs> Lovely. Really nice right off cut followed by left hook. He just needs to not think about it so much, enjoy himself in there and let his work find itself. I think sometimes when they think overthink, that's when the the combination shots and the, the bits that he wants to do don't come off, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, though, right? When you over-intellectualise anything, it nice gives that... Words there. I like, I like that. Thank you. Is that an actual word? Yes. Intellectualise. Over, yeah, of course it is. To win that first round. Yeah. You can see they're a very well coached team. They're very good at looking after their fighters. Nathan 
Hayden's there trying to find that range. Nice, loose, loose oh. shoulder, strong hand. Yeah. Nice little flurry as well. He's got a little bit of Harlem Eubank about him. Yeah, I see what you mean. The wide base, loose top. Also that natural athleticism. Yeah. Good height change there, I like that. Yeah. What I do enjoy about Nathan boxing is that he looks so comfortable in the ring, doesn't he? Yeah. Probably attributed to the fact that he's been boxing since he was really young, I think three. Three years old? Yeah. Nice. Good work. Keep boxing, keep it together from Mick Guilfoy. Perfect, simple instructions. Love the way that he's cutting off the ring as well. Yeah. Good shot. Very good. Good shot. His recoil was good. Yeah, recoil was great. It was right body shot, rolled up to the top, and then right over the top. Head shot. I'd like to see him start throwing three shot combinations now. Speed, speed, then power. Maybe a one-two and a simple left hook lean off. Give him some good success. Nice control of that centre ring. Closing that distance. Finding the range. Finding his opponent. Lovely. Good work. Lovely combination. He's got to press him again in now. Don't let him off the hook. Yeah, don't Unfortunately, wait too long. Unfortunately, he did. Yeah. There. Good work from both of them. I want to see him keep that control of distance though, not walking when he's frustrated. Walking out of range, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. He does. He takes a couple steps back and then he has to work his way back in. Nice. Just came back for my birthday wishes. That was it. Oh, it was your birthday the other day, yeah, wasn't it? For happy, commenting. happy belated. Too I late. commented on your post. I'll check, you know. <laughs> Please do. Nothing. Yeah, I think you probably did. Yeah. <laughs> nice use of the top half. I like the way he shapes up. He's confident. Yeah. Very nice. nice. I really like the way that he just aimed, not for the head, but just directly what's in front of him. Yeah, and you know, boxing and looking at the anatomy when you're doing so is important. It's something I was saying earlier, like you, you, when something's in front of you, what, what are you going to hit? You can end up on gloves, end up on forearms. But he seems to be landing on good parts of the body. Yeah. It's just like there, he's placed that shot between the arms instead of just throwing it very fast. Although he's, although he's very uh, slick and clean, I do want to see him now bite down a bit and throw a little bit more some intent and a little bit more venom. Wow, he just got caught there. He nods at him. And I think this could light the fire. Here we go. Good. Going through the gears now. Must be careful though when you throw the two. If you're not going to throw again afterwards, just dip out come back in. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to get caught in a reply. He's got him there, shouldn't let him out. He's got to do his work when he's got his work. Don't let him set it up, shouts Mick Gilfoy. He, he's on the money with the instructions. Hope Nathan can hear him, because I can. He's getting tagged here unnecessarily. Yes, he is. It's because he's waiting too long. He's standing around a little bit. Mm. His opponent has cottoned on to that now, and he's going to whip these really fast shots from out of nowhere. He's 
got to be looser with the head. His opponent's head movement is, is quite is quite nice. Where he's been tagged a couple of times now, he slowed his head movement down. He, he he's he's stiffened up a little bit too much. Lovely, short short little right right hook to the head. That's what I like those replies. You said loose with the head, and I think he heard you. Hope so. He's applying that pressure really nicely, then waiting a little bit too long and then taking a couple of steps back. What do you think the thought process is behind that? I think it, it, it's being used to be just being comfortable in that style and, and, and maybe not being in situations. However, he is in one, well, the bell's safe. Going into the last round now. Jab to set something else up behind it. Mm. Single single shots at this this point. Oh, he just tripled his jab as I've said it. Single shots at this point of the fight are really not beneficial not to him. No, I mean it's his last round. We need to see him cut off and use what he's got. Let's see the excitement from Nathan. Corner seem happy with him though. Yeah, it's a good all performance. All smiles at the corner. He needs to use that jab to give his opponent something to think about. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Consistency of that would be nice. I like his work. Yeah. You say he's 23 years old? Yeah, 22, I believe. 22 years old. I'll be, I'll be following his career. I, li I like his style. Yeah. Are you excited? Kind of. <laughs> it takes a lot to excite me, but, you know, I, I like that style that he's fighting. Consistency with a jab. Lovely, nice Lovely. one too. Yeah. But I want to press again now. More violence. Yeah. Again, a single shot. When you twos and threes minimum now, you should be opening the tank up and using it. Good reply. Yeah, great reply. That's better. More of these press and work. I feel like whenever he gets caught with Good. something, he, Good. he lights the fire under him. That's right. Settle down and chuck, Nathan. I must say, I, I think Mr. Excitement is quite right. Fast jab, Nick Gilford shouts. Good shot. Nice shot to the body, We yeah. need more though, twos and threes now. Work up the ladder. Lovely, same, same placement. You could be comfortable with a point to win and I think he probably knows he's got it, but when your guy's in this position, I definitely want him to do more work because look, you let them off the hook, they'll come back and reply. Yeah. That, nice. was a, that was a lovely finish, I must I say. I like that. Very good performance. I'm happy with that. Very good performance, Nathan. Well done to the team. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we go to the referee scorecard. Referee Sean McAvoy scores the bout 40 to 36. And your winner, Mr. Excitement, Nathan! Mr. Excitement, that was a fantastic performance. How did you find it? Yeah, it was good. It was just good, uh, good to get back in after a layoff. Um, it was meant to be a six rounder, but it was only four. But I felt good, got the job done, yeah. How long have you been out of the ring now? Uh, since June last year. 
So it's actually, yeah, it's been quite a little stretch for you. How does it feel, obviously, kind of shaking off that ring rust? Yeah, it felt good just to get back in there, you know, get that feeling, but um, get straight back in there again in June, hopefully, and uh, keep the ball rolling. What did you make of your opponent? Yeah, it was good. I knew it was when I got in there. I seen his record, watched him fight, you know what I mean? He, he, he ain't an idiot, you know what I mean? So I just boxed clever, done what I had to do. Obviously, you've been boxing from an extremely, extremely young age. You look so, so comfortable in the ring. Can you enlighten us as to what your corner was telling you when you were going back there? They were just telling me not to get, you know, drawn into a, um, a swinging match and uh, stick on my jab, because sometimes I can get a bit drawn in. I like to have a tear up, but um, I feel I listened to my coach, done what I had to do, and um, yeah, I'll, I'm, I've only just joined Adam Martin to start the year, but I'm really enjoying it and looking forward to uh, progressing with them. I mean, it's a fantastic gym. Are you getting lots of quality sparring down there? Yeah, brilliant sparring, amazing gym, um, great atmosphere, and yeah, all the rest, hard work. What can we expect to see from you for the rest of 2023? Just more wins, keeping the, you know what I mean, trying to keep it steady, fight one after the other fight, um, and just progress. I'm 22, so I know I've got to take the right steps at the right time, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. As you say, you know, you're 22, you're still very, very young. Future is bright. We really enjoyed seeing your performance and look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, thank you very much. It's also I want to say to my dad, hope you get well soon, mate. Um, it's fucking, I've done this for you, mate. I really love you. It's very lovely. Thanks. See you later.